What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so today we're here in Bangkok still. It's like 8 a.m. right now. Like, we're here to meet a bunch of guys that I met uh, on Instagram. La. You know, they are a bunch of Honda guys. So we're gonna show you guys some of their cars because honestly their cars are all pretty pretty sick. I've been waking up so early man in the past few weeks. But it's okay, we got some nice cars, so we're gonna go check it out. Got my coffee. Let's go. Alright guys, so here we have it. We have a bunch of cool Hondas over here. These are the guys from Control Racing, right? So I actually met them, uh, spoke to them on Instagram, la, so Control Racing, you know, I think most of you Honda guys, I don't know, might have seen them. So I really like their style built because it's very different, uh, very clean as well. So, you know, something that I really enjoy. So we're going to take you guys on a tour, la, just to show you guys a few cars over here, starting off with this EK Coupe. For most of you guys, they already know I love EK Coupes because we don't get them in Malaysia and this one is super clean. 99 front end, it's got Mugen MF10 wheels, uh, M Racing carbon side mirrors. The interior, it's got a Technocraft, a pair actually of uh, Technocraft carbon seats, an old school, show you guys, an old school Mugen wheel, radio delete, pretty cool. Uh. Look at that, look at the floor mats. You know, so these guys, they really love to build their cars in a clean way la, you know so this one's a Mugen build la. basically I'll call it a Mugen style coupe on my left over here we got a Civic EF EF hatchback so in Malaysia these are actually very very common they are also very very affordable la. but in Thailand um, it's a whole different story these cars cost ringgit ah anywhere from 70 to 100,000. In Malaysia, you can get one something like this for maybe 25 to 30,000. So this is a USDM style, it's got the work equip old trees. For those of you guys that are Honda guys, you guys will know this bum lah. This is an SI bum to clear, you know, the cam cover side, so you gotta have this bum. If not, it wouldn't clear. And notice these guys all, they don't run uh, wipers on. Wiper delete, wiper delete, all wiper delete. We usually do rear wiper delete. These, these guys do front wiper deletes. So this car, bone stock, interior, super clean lah. So the owner told me when he bought this car, it was just a bare shell. Which he bought for 27,000 ringgit guys. Bare shell, no engine, no interior, nothing. And he spent about a year to build it up like this. Right. Here we have a newer generation. So EF, EG, EK. So this EG, Nothing much to shout about, it's a spoon style build, you know, you got the spoon muffler, the spoon wheels. Oh, it's got Momo steering wheel, you know, not the spoon ones. The interior is stock as well. Um, but in Thailand, people love spoon lah. So most of the EGs you guys see here, they all go for spoon style. To me, spoon is okay, you know, I'm a fan of spoon, but I wouldn't personally do a spoon style anymore lah, because nowadays they are so overplayed. But on my right, this has got to be one of my more favourite cars lah. This is an EK4, alright, Civic EK hatchback. He's kept the EK4, okay, okay, let me tell you guys a little bit of backstory first lah, okay. So look at the plate here, Honda Cars Thailand, alright. So in Thailand, they didn't make hatchbacks. So what they do is, they take a coupe, they cut it off, they import a rear from Japan and they weld it on. I know it sounds a bit janky, but in Thailand, you can legalize it. So most of the hatchbacks here that you guys see, they are all converted from coupes, lah, right? Regardless, this car is still super clean. It's a 99 front end, first molding, carbon front lip, SIR uh, front grille. It's got the carbon hood, but you can see carbon hood, but painted over, right? Painted over carbon hood. My favorite wheels, lah, guys, the T37. These are the 15 by 7 with a 28 offset. Got that nice concave, you know, R888s, endless four ports, baller, spoon style, side mirrors. This car is just very USDM. Like. You guys would see something like this in the States. Because, you know, some people, most people like in Malaysia, Thailand, they'll convert them to EK9s. This guy just left the SIR. Actually, when he bought it, it was EK9 converted, but he went back to an SIR look, which I really, really love. 
super clean the interior okay kind of open spoon spot staring i think it's a gen 2 with the boss kit okay what you guys see here right icb seats so icb is actually from japan but i'm just going to be honest straight up these seats are actually replica right so made in thailand uh, also for you guys that do not know icb is made by Escalito, which makes spoon mugen fields and icb lah obviously so they are jdm they are from japan but this is a replica also uh, you guys notice uh, these fellas they don't run random plate on this thing. don't know why but uh the cops here might not be that strict lah i guess but this civic is my favorite car here lah to be honest i really love the way it is i mean it's got good wheels good fitment that's all it needs all right on my left here we got a eg hatchback so this car is actually i would say almost bone stock la. looks like it has self coilovers and some wheels but that's about it you know the interior is bone stock so this is actually tie spec you see you guys got the like the leather seat kind of thing going on you see so tie spec maybe i'll show you guys the engine bay later then i can show you guys how stock this car is okay so this eg like i told you guys right it's bone stock i wasn't kidding look at that <laughs> This is a D15 carburetor, guys. But the exterior looks super clean. Lah. Looks very sporty. I mean, how often do you guys get to see a carburetor EG nowadays? I know in like back home in Malaysia, I don't know, like it's been don't know how many years already lah, since I've last seen an EG with a carburetor. Right, so these cars here are pretty affordable. You can get something like this for about 10,000 ringgit. I mean, minus the wheels and the coilovers, lah. About this kind of condition, ten to twelve thousand ringgit. So very, very affordable. Even in Malaysia, if you get a spec like this, you're looking at about thirty grand. All right. So my right here, a more common car. We got a EK sedan. So plenty, lah. Malaysia, Thailand, everywhere, you know. But not many people do clean EK sedans, lah. So this one, it's nine nine as usual. Most people go nine nine VRS or standard stuff, lah. Right. B sixteen A head with a uh, sorry eighteen head with a twenty block. So we're just gonna call it a B twenty. C28, he's got the VIRS interior. So in Malaysia, everybody is converting to VIRS interior, like, you know, one bucket seat over there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 99 rear end, huge muffler. This is a Ganador, Ganador muffler. Right, so the guys out here, they are pretty cool, like, very tight knit community, you know, just actually, in fact, they're just a bunch of friends that uh, love cars. So they used to be friends since last time already lah so you know all of them love hondas here we got a um, fd behind there we got a gk that's a usdm front bumper spoon uh, side mirrors so okay lah in thailand they love the usdm style this is a usdm 2014 so something like mine but mine's uh jdm rs this is usdm you can see where the notch is right so yeah pretty cool the fd is uh I think your regular automatic FD la, because they don't have original FD 2 us here. So yeah man, um, that's it like you know, just gonna be a short video just to show you guys some of the car culture here as usual. But this is gonna be my favorite lah. I need one, I need one, I need one. Sooner or later. If you guys were to choose, would you guys rather have the coupe or the hatchback? I love both but them. I think if I were to buy one. It's gotta be the coupe lah because we don't have it in Malaysia. Super rare. I mean we do have it lah, but by the way they sold this brand new in Honda Thailand. Lah. Malaysia is all imported. So yeah. Hey, okay, before we end the video, we have one more last car to show you guys. This is an EF2. So on the exterior, it's you know meant to look like an EF9. It's got the super rare Mugen CF48 wheels with the cover. Very nice. The engine is still stock, so it's a dual carb. The interior is min lah guys, to say the least, look at that. It's still auto. Very nice, it's got a aftermarket wing. I like how he's still running the uh, EF9, I mean he's running an EF9 back box with the twin tips. Look at that. These guys love their old school Hondas. And they got the style. That's the way lah guys. That's how they do it over here, control racing. 
All right, guys. So we're gonna end this video right here. Uh, started raining, so everyone just went back, you know, including myself. But it was quite cool, lah. Today we got to see some nice Hondas. You know, not many cars, not many people, because they are just a small group of friends that enjoy, you know, the same thing, lah. They've been a, they've been friends since last time, you know. So they all love Hondas. So that's why they all came out, you know, just to hang out with me. Good time, good time. If you guys want to follow them, you know, um, I'll put their Instagram in the link below, lah. It's called Control Racing TH. Pretty cool, you know, they have their own style, you know, USDM, JDM. Yeah, so as usual, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. You know, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, you know. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.